Hey guys, so about three months ago I made a video which you may or may not have seen about staking cryptos. Recently a lot of people have asked me how it's going, so I wanted to look back at it and see have I made any money, and if so, how much money have I made? So uh, where I staked my cryptos was in this Olympus DAO. So before I get started talking about this at all, first thing I have to say is that this is not a recommendation to buy OM or stake OM. This is a highly volatile asset. Even the people who make it, these guys themselves, describe it as a financial experiment, okay? They're experimenting. It's kind of the forefront, the frontier of the de decentralized finance. We're talking highly volatile. If I wouldn't want anyone thinking this is secure, this is safe, I'm gonna put my money in and get massive returns. Because I've done quite well here off this one. And I don't want anyone to be misled led by that. It's super risky, okay? So let's see how I've done. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click enter app here and it takes us to this dashboard. Now you might remember from the last video that I made about staking, when it comes to DeFi sites, we don't really log in with like a username and a password like old sites. It's all pretty much anonymous, you know? What we do is we connect with our wallet. So over here, I'm going to click connect wallet and we can connect with MetaMask or Wallet Connect, or Web3 enabled wallets. I made a video about what MetaMask is and how we connect. So I'm just going to click MetaMask and boom, that's it. I can go here to my, my MetaMask wallet and that's it. I'm already connected to the site. Now, here we're on the dashboard. I can go to the stake page. Now, when I got to this site three months ago, what I did is I bought one ohm. Okay, I bought one of these ohm tokens from SushiSwap. You can see it in the video. And I paid $308 for that token. Now, if I go now to a site like uh, CoinGecko over here, this is one of the sites, there's two of them, CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. They're big sites which show the value of all cryptos. So I'm just going to type ohm in here. Let's see what the current value is. So if I click ohm, it found it. The current value of one ohm is $1,124. So I bought it for $308. It's now worth $1,124. So you think, wow, I've made a profit, right? I've made like, I don't know, $700, $800. That's amazing. But the thing with ohm is it provides interest. Okay, watch. So if I go to Olympus Dow here, now you can see here that my staked balance is 3.86 S ohm. Now, when I entered it in, when I staked, I originally staked one ohm. So what ohm does, the clever thing that ohm does, it doesn't guarantee us a return in price. If I go back to the Olympus charts, here it's showing 180 days, the last 180 days of the price of ohm. We can see that the price goes from 1,415 all the way down to $1,165. And it goes up, here it's 476, here it's gone back down to 234, Olympus Dow does not guarantee the price of Ohm. When you stake Ohm, what happens is it guarantees you a certain amount of extra Ohm. It increases your supply of Ohm. Doesn't uh, guarantee the price, it guarantees the supply increase. So over here we can see that my staked balance is 3.86 Ohm. My next reward yield is 0.3944%. And this next reward yield, that's applied every eight hours. Every eight hours I will earn more rewards. I will earn more supply of ohm. So in eight hours, when this next epoch ends, that's what each eight hour period is known as an epoch, I will get 0.3944%. And it shows me exactly what that's going to be. My next amount is I'm going to get 0.0152 new S ohm. That amount will be added to this on the next rebase. So basically, since I staked this three months ago, these little rewards have just been ticking over every eight hours for the last three months since I made that video. Every eight hours, a little bit more ohm has been added to my one ohm. And that's how my one ohm has changed from one to 3.8, just through these little bits once every eight hours. And remember what happens is I start off with one ohm over here, and then it adds a little bit. And that little bit is then part of my original amount. So the next amount I earn, when I next turn 0.39%, it's on my original one ohm, plus the bit that I earned eight hours ago. And it keeps doing that. It keeps adding the new little bit that it gives me goes to my principal. So next time I earn 0.39%, it's on the whole amount that I've earned before as well as the principal amount I put in. So it's compounding. It grows and grows and grows. Really, really clever. And eventually my one ohm has turned into 3.8639 ohm. So how much is that currently worth now? So now I have three. If I unstake it at the moment, I can unstake my um, S ohm and it will go back to ohm. I will have 3.86 ohm, which I can then go and transfer into whatever I want. Dollars, cash it out, transfer it for Ethereum, whatever. So let's work it out. So if I go to the price, the price is uh, currently 1120. So let's do that. We have, uh, boom, boom, 11, 
0.20 times how much have I got? I have got 3.86. Uh, 3.86 equals $4,324. I have $4,324 off $308 in three months, which is incredible. Incredible. So the price has gone up. The price from 308 is now 1,000, what was it again? The price is now 1,128, which is unbelievable. But apart from just, let's say the price had just stayed the same. Let's say the price was still $308 for one ohm. I would have 308 times 3.86, which is what? So even if the, let's say it stayed the same, 308 times 3.8639 equals, I would still have 1,190, even if the price of ohm had stayed the same, because it increases my supply, of course they can't guarantee a price increase, but they can guarantee a, a supply increase, I would have 1,190. Let's say it dropped in price, let's say it had gone from 308 to 150. So let's do 150 times 386 Let's say even if Ohm had halved in price, gone down to 150, because of the increase in supply that I've got, I would still have $579. So it's a really, it's a very, very clever system. Now, obviously, uh, again, that's not a guarantee of anything. It's really not a guarantee of anything. I just want to show the difference in mindset because it took me a while to get my head around it. It takes other people that they can't guarantee an increase in price. This isn't a guarantee of increase in price. It's a guarantee of increase in supply. Now, obviously, with the price so high now, if I, I bought it at 308, if it goes down 50%, it would go to 150. The price now has a lot further to fall if it does fall. You know, if it falls from here and it goes from 1,128 down to 250 now, it would take me an awful long time to sort of earn enough rebases, enough rewards in terms of supply to make that money back. So it is risky. Don't think this is not risky. I have to keep saying that. Again, I bought Ohm, not when is it at 1,121, I bought it at $308. And over here, uh, we can see that the rewards at the moment are, let's, let's try and see on the dashboard what the current reward yield is. Down here, uh, APY is 7,193. Obviously, when I got into it, I don't know what it was, about 37,000 or 60,000, something ridiculous, massive APY. So obviously, that's come down and down and down. Over here, we can probably see it actually, June 29th, I was at about there, I think. June, July, August, September. So it's around there. I was somewhere around 32,000 APY. Obviously, the APY is down to 7,000 now. So I bought it cheaper. And when I bought it, the APY, the amount of interest you get was much higher. Now the price is much more expensive to buy one and you get less APY. It's a less attractive proposition to me now. But am I going to sell this? Nope. I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to hold on to this. I might swap some of it. I'm not sure. I'll see. But really, that's a phenomenal amount of money. From $308, I have now got $4,323. I don't even know what that is. That's more than 10 times. 10 times would be 3080 It's 11, 12, 13 times. I think it's a huge reward phenomenal price increase. That's up 14.6% today. Now, Olympus Dow has been making a lot of kind of really clever moves. They've, they've launched something called Olympus Pro recently, where they're um, providing their services professionally to other decentralized finance protocols. They really are sort of trying to make themselves like a, a central bank of decentralized finance. So I think the project's just going from strength to, to strength at the moment. It's been doing really well. If I look at the charts again, over the last sort of 14 days, 14 14 days ago, the price was $622. It's now up at $1,120. So there's been a big surge in the price of Ohm over the last two weeks. That's highly volatile. That's not a stable asset. You don't see Coca-Cola or Apple or Tesla or whatever really doubling in two weeks, you know, which is what essentially this has done. The price of Ohm has doubled in two weeks. That is volatile. And what goes up very fast can come down very fast too. Really, I can't say that enough because I know there's a lot of people here um, who, who maybe look at it and just think, wow, that's an amazing amount of money. That amount of money and that type of return could change my life. I, I know, but this is super risky. 
All right, it's as easy to lose that amount of money as it is to make it. I've, I've, I've done well here. This is a great one. There's many of these protocols, DeFi protocols that I've been in where I've lost money as quickly. It just so happens that the one I staked in for my channel has done very well. Thank you, you know, and it's made me look good. But these are really, really risky and I don't want to underplay that at all. Okay. Having said that, Olympus, uh, I, I read their Twitter. I'm in the Olympus Discord. Obviously, Discord is a great place to start. I'll put the link to the Olympus Discord in the community if you want to find more about it. And a link to their Twitter page, I'll put that uh, at the bottom as well. Um, they've been doing some amazing things in providing their services professionally now to other protocols and attracting all of this liquidity. If I go back here to the, the dashboard, which I'll go over in another one, um, the total value deposited is now two billion six hundred and thirty four million nine hundred and ninety four thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars. It's just climbing. It's just unbelievable how much market value of treasury assets. This is the, the assets which are owned by the Olympus Dow Treasury owns $372,670,698. Um, These are huge amounts of money, which this, um, uh, this Dow, this uh, decentralized autonomous organization, they're trying to decentralize it all. Um, they're dealing with large amounts of money and they're really one of the core players. They're becoming one of the core players in the decentralized finance scene. Um, so they're attracting a lot of liquidity and we'll see how it goes. Nothing is guaranteed. And some people say, well, you know, it's increasing the, uh, the amount, the supply. Normally when we increase the supply of an asset, uh, it means that the market's flooded with it so that there's an oversupply and the price falls. Yet somehow the protocol has been attracting so much new liquidity, so much new money has been coming in that it's managed to increase the supply and increase the price. How long will that continue? I don't know. With their new developments, Olympus Pro and things, uh, it seems like they're, they're really finding ways to attract more liquidity into the protocol they really are attracting liquidity very very fast how long can that continue so that the supply is increasing and the price increases i don't know i really don't um, will i just withdraw my money now four thousand dollars is a lot um i don't know we'll see uh, i just wanted to sort of that's an update on how it's all going uh, at the moment really clever system this this rebasing and how it compounds you know other protocols in, in decentralized finance in order to compound you have to sort of click and add a transaction and it costs money and fees for that transaction with this one you just leave it there and it automatically does the compounding itself which is really smart If you want to find out, really do research, look at the Discord, look at the Twitter, read their docs. As before, I showed that here you can see their GitHub docs. Here, docs. here you can read about them on, on Medium. There's a link here to Twitter and to their, their Discord. Read about them, find out what it's about, find out what 3.3 means, find out about bonding, which is a way to actually buy um, the ohm token cheaper than you can buy it at the market price really clever stuff the runway uh, shows how many days they can keep the current apy given their treasury assets so at the moment they can keep their seven thousand percent apy for the next 309 days but i did hear that in december they're thinking about lowering the apy after the end of this year so then it won't be as attractive proposition if that's true i have to check and what will that do to the market if people think the apy is going to drop We'll see what happens, but yeah, it, it's making me money so far. What I'm next gonna show is another project that I'm interested in, which is um, called Mist, uh, Alchemist. Uh, I have some of this token, I bought it months ago. It's also done very well. And I'll show you how I mint this Crucible. It's another way of getting rewards programs and at the same time making an NFT. I'll show you that in the next one. Um, but yeah, done well with the Ohm and we'll see what happens from here on, really pleased. Anyhow, that's it for that one. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.